Hello, and today I will be reviewing The Wicked Deck by Sally Morningstar, illustrated by Danuta Meyer. Um, apologies for my voice, I have a little bit hoarse today. So I'll have a look at the box. Um, it was fully sealed in plastic, which I like. Do, do, do. Nothing really on the box to write home about. Okay, so let's open it up. It is a 42 card, sorry, a 42 card deck. Um, definitely not Tower of Divination. 64 page book, but always nice when they send a big book with a smaller deck. Now, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm trying to do this without scratching the box. Because I'm anal about the boxes. Now, here we go. Do, do, do. Now, first off, I am not a big Wicca fan, I'll be honest with you now. I would be more into Thelema, so let's get this open. It's a nice tight box. Um, yeah, it feels pretty well together. Do, 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 do. Booklet. Um, I have been told this booklet is quite light-hearted. Um, which is nice to know. Yeah, a nice bit of information, not too much. Um, oh, okay. It looks like a chakra-type spread. Yeah, that's interesting. At least it's not the standard Celtic cross that you get in everything. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm liking the fact it's they haven't just whacked in two or three standard ones. Okay, standard three card spread. Can we all know that on back to front? But yeah, so page 50 plus is interpreting the cards. A little bit about the artist. And the new to Meyer has illustrated many books for children, adults, such as. The Yellow Fairy Book, Folio Society, numerous titles, including Bloomsbury, Walker Books, and Holler, which is quite decent. Um, personally commissioned work artist, and Brace. So I'm assuming you can buy her work, which, to be honest with you, if the front is anything to go by, I wouldn't mind buying some of her work. Um, let's see, Hedwich Sally. Hedwich Sally Morningstar's ancestral name originates from the Anglo-Saxon of the Magical Healer. She runs international online training courses in natural magic self-development, also has private consultation services, her love of natural work. I'm going to have to look into her. Um, I'll have a look at some of her stuff. Um, obviously more than just someone who's come up with a deck, which is nice. Now... I am horrendous at pronouncing stuff, so first card looks like Ardia Heritage. Um nice crescent moon, crescent moon. Is that a crow or a raven? I don't know what it is, but I like it. I mean if the artist does paintings like that and sticks them up, or sorry, it does prints. I have a couple of prints framed around my house. Um, back of the cards, pretty standard. Not sure I like this copyright thing at the bottom, though. It's sort of a bit. And we definitely couldn't accidentally read them upside down. Not that I read decks upside down, because, to be honest, if a card turns up upside down for me, that just means I've shuffled them badly. Now, here we go. As you can see, I'm a little OTT with being careful taking wrappings off. My girlfriend would just chew them off with her teeth. Okay, first things first, the feel. Um, it's it's a very matte type finish feel. I'm not saying that's bad. It's just most of them are, most cards tend to be glossy and overly glossy, which does actually also make them hard to um, shuffle. These I don't think you'll have any problems with. Um, I know the Dorian Virtue decks, they stick together like anything. 
Um, so yeah, that feels quite nice. Cardstock, a little bit flimsy, but it's a cheap deck, and it's better cardstock, I think, than most Adorian Virtue decks. So that's number one, our dear Heritage. Two, Bat, Rebirth in Consciousness. It's a nice enough card. Um, full Moon, a couple of bats flowing around, Reflections in the Pond, Lilies, which as we all know are very symbolic. Chalice, Fertility. Wow, there's a lot going on in this card. Um, not too much though, but just enough. Um, We've got the pine trees, pine cones, the fish, which looks like it's a salmonish. I'm terrible at fish. It's either a salmon or a trout. I'm hoping it's a salmon, because there's a bit of knowledge in there. And um, the cup, a shell, feathers, bird, loving the rainbow. Do number four candle illumination again with the rainbow. Um. Yeah, just very nice. Um, dun, 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 dun. Very, um, oh God, it's escaping what that symbol is, but we all know it. Yeah. Let's do. Ah, now this had to be in a wicker deck. Attraction, number five. The um, goddess symbol, crescent moon, stones from a sacred place. We have this symbol broken up here, coming out of the goddess, and underneath. Bell, awakening. Not 100% this symbol, to be honest with you. Um, sort of elf or nymph. Um, feels full. Sun rising or setting, whichever way you want to look at it. Okay. Gia, healing. Mermaid, interesting. Um, also interesting that a mermaid is mixed with a bird and a cat. Hmm. The familiar, ally. The wolf spirit protecting it. Comet, full moon, fire illuminating. Relatively strong looking person the lady embodiment let me see if I can get these closer without blurring it um, yeah strongish figure obviously doing some ceremony you've got the um, candle dagger chalice again the raven or crow pentacle the green man Serpent around a crystal ball. And if I'm not mistaken, they are runes. Did I skip one? No. The mirror. Perception. Phoenix rising from the flames. Someone hiding who they really are. In the moon. Different Sizes of balls, which I'm assuming are meant to symbolize rising and lowering. To do the silver bob, bob. I'm probably pronouncing that terrible. Let's see, love. Hmm. Nice fresh fruit from the tree. Swan, dove, bees, flowers. Lady looking up in sort of the gaze of love, playing a mini harp, cloak, camouflage, hmm, fox. So we have the bird again, staff, staff with stuff growing on it, and um, river coming down from the mountains, choppy waters a little bit. And again, this is, I'm assuming, going in with the um, the reading, or sorry, the card layout from the book. The High Priest. 
guardian. I don't know if, how I feel about this Egyptian y type figure in a wicked deck. I don't know. Hmm. The moon and the um, cover picture. Which I'll be honest with you, it makes a nice looking um, picture. Again, if that came in a print, I pretty much get it. Um, the owl, the hair. That is definitely a hair, by the way. I know my difference between my rats and my hairs. That is a hair. Um, neophyte study. Hmm. Eagle or hawk. Looking at your own reflection, although being hidden to the rest of the world, the candle starting to illuminate, but it's illuminated more in a mirror where you're not hidden. Incense burning. Mm. Broomstick. Cleansing. We've got the moon, the sun, witch on the broomstick. Stereotypical, isn't it? Which on a broomstick. Um, tree. Yeah. I like it. Mm. Pentacle. Evocation. Hmm. Very dark looking one. But evocation, it's, I'm not saying it's dark, but it's a very powerful type thing to be doing. I think that card reflects it quite well. Serpent power. Um, I'm thinking that's a man and a woman. I could be wrong. That's a very feminine looking person. But maybe they did that deliberately. Obviously the tree of knowledge. The serpent power. Hmm. Wand, intention, um, yeah, it's a very nice looking wand, don't know if you can really read too much into it, Let's see, six raid star, unification, hmm, okay, a bit of a yin and yang going on, I like it again, the picture, it's very nicely done. Black cat. I'm going to completely butcher this word. Psychism. Mm, the pentacle. The eye of Horus. Symbology. Throne in the background. Interesting how the cat isn't sitting on the throne. Very unlike a cat. A theme. Commander of Power. It's a nice one. Do, do, do. Holy Stone, Protection. Yeah, it's the Angel of Protection. Um, Pentagram. Two um, demons. It's a lot like a lot of people wear your crystals and whatnot for protection. I, I actually... I, I got this deck because it was cheap um, and a little, little bit interesting looking. Um, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. Nemesis Lessons. Now, that symbol looks very familiar. There was a thread on that symbol earlier. Um, although slightly a variation of the white power version which comes out. Um, yeah, I like it. Mushrooms. Again, the bird, the trinity bit. Let's see. Caval. Caval London. The womb. Again, another sort of fertility type one. Um, cauldron. Staff, this time with a snake up. Paired cup. The woman who's obviously very earthy. We have the harvest. We have the water in the background. Is that water or is that the... No, it's not water. That's the fog on the back. Early morning. Cave retreat. The bear. Hiding in the cave. Illuminated. 
protection around the fire. Um, full moon. Spider patterns. Hmm. Right, the queen alphaman. Again, a hair. Little fairies. I'm not going to even attempt to read that. Magpies. I'm not really a big fan of magpies now. Officially classed as vermin. Um, cord. Initiation. Mm, it's a very tarot looking card, isn't it? With the two pillars. Raven. Keeper of Secrets. Hmm. Spell. Little Fairy. A few other bits in it. The Frog. Rainbow. The Horned God. Looks like a lot of the, um... Oh, the God of the Forest type figures. Holding a snake. Pentacles. On an oak tree. Cone of power. Hmm. Interesting. Crystal ball. Insight. The wisdom of the owl. Symbology underneath it. Flowing water. Oh god, they really just want to make an ass of me with these. Shekinah. There we go. Transdescence. Um, Earth, Mother Earth encapsulating her, the back of a swan, the bees laying the um, daisy chain crown, mm. holy water purification, the two, oh, we've all seen that done as a tramp stamp on the girls. Um, rainbow encircling it. Hmm. Sword. Aspiration. Dragon doesn't look too happy. Hmm. Wizard. Spiritual. Impeccable ability. Line. Trident. Unicorn. I'm very happy that's the first unicorn I've seen. It would have been very easy to just throw a load of unicorns and airy fairy stuff into this deck. But I think they've done really well. There's one or two cards I'm not feeling a lot of. But they have done really, really well. Owl. Wisdom Keeper. Very self explanatory. The keyhole. Or the oh, symbol. The key itself. Book of Shadows. Experience. If you're into Wicca or witchcraft or any sort of magic, you should know about the Book of Shadows. And finally, Crone. Release. Poppies. Magic ball on top of the... St or crystal ball on top of the staff. The robin, covered in feathers, out at night. Yeah, it's sort of it's very wisdomy type looking lady, sort of an experienced lady. Anyway, that is the Wicked Deck by Sally Morningstar. I think I want to say I paid about a tenner for it, probably a bit less. And because I got a really good deal on it. It was just very cheap. There we go. Um, feels very good in the hands. And that's it. Um, like and subscribe because I'm cutting this video off before it hits 20 minutes. Thank you very much.